Uh, Bishop Greg, you know, he may not remember this, but I'll never forget the very first time I met him face to face. You know, it was uh, at Canterbury and I was there with the Youth Ministry Institute. I was a student at the time and he was sitting at a round table surrounded by like priests and other officials within the diocese. And I briefly went up to him. I tapped him on the shoulder and just like introduced myself. I said, hi, my name's JJ. I'm the youth director at Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Melbourne. And he stood up, told the circle of priests and other officials that he'll be right back. He walked to the side with me and just began to ask me questions about myself. Like he really wanted to get to know me and wanted to get to know what my visions and passions were for youth ministry and how we could work together to help build a thriving youth ministry within our diocese. You know, I, was, I was shocked. Like, why would he walk away from these officials to talk to someone like me? In my mind at the time, I was like a nobody. But Bishop Greg didn't see it that way. He thought that I was vitally important to the overall mission of ministry to our youth in the diocese. And, you know, from that moment, I was convinced that our our youth were of utmost importance to him. Since then, uh, Bishop Brewer stayed connected with me. You know, we'd reach out to each other via text or on social media, meet and grab lunch. And he didn't have to stay in touch, but he did. And that speaks to his heart and his desire to really be involved and connected to our youth leaders, to build us up as we lead the charge and growth and progress in diocesan youth ministry. You know, and as I mentioned, I was a student of the Youth Ministry Institute and now like enjoy a career in youth ministry that spans well over a decade. And I don't know of any organization that knows boots on the ground youth ministry as well as the Youth Ministry Institute. So I thought it was a great move from Bishop Greg to connect with Steve Schneeberger, who was the director at the time and now Kirsten Knox, to really help fully develop our youth leaders. You know, our hope is that our youth ministers will bring the knowledge, education, passion, and fire back to their home churches and communities to help them elevate and grow. You know, every youth minister, every youth minister in our diocese should take advantage of the opportunity to connect with such a valuable resource. And I also thought that it was impressive that Bishop Greg took time out to do things like the Bishop's Retreat, where he came out to Camp Wingman with the students of the diocese to hang out, to ask questions, to be silly, and just to be present. And he showed up time and time again. And for that, I am very grateful for what he has done and has tried to do in his tenure. So Bishop Greg, congratulations on your retirement. And I am so thankful for you, for caring about the youth in our diocese and for getting up from your table that day to get to know like me. You know, I cherish the relationships that we've built together over the years. And, uh, and yeah, you're just really going to be a hard act to follow, man. So congratulations.